Tudor is back for Watches and Wonders 2024, and I have my Black Bay 58 on wrist. So let's get right into it, guys. So Tudor released a lot of interesting models this year, and as you can see, I'm on their website. I think it's the best way to show you guys since I'm not at the actual event in Switzerland. And uh, on the Tudor website, they're actually available. All the photos and everything, all the prices are updated, and uh, there's a lot of cool new releases that I think you guys are going to like. I am a big Black Bay 58 fan myself. Just recently picked one up. Uh, about six months ago, and I have been loving it ever since. Kind of taking the fall from Rolex, kind of, I don't know, kind of Tudor. It's really cool now, it's really in, and uh, they make great quality watches. So this year at Watches and Wonders, they released a new Black Bay 58 GMT. So they took the 58, that was very popular, they made a GMT out of it in a Coke bezel with kind of gilt, and it came out really nice. And also it's going to be much thinner than the Tudor Black Bay GMT. Uh, they released the Pepsi um, a couple years ago, and that was a bit too thick. So as you can see, the new one priced at $4,600, and as a choice of bracelet as well, you're getting a choice of the Oyster-style riveted bracelet or fake rivet. You get also a choice of a Jubilee, which I think a lot of people are going to choose, honestly. And you get that nice 39mm case size as well to go along with it. I think pricing is pretty fair. I mean, for a luxury GMT, I, cons I definitely consider Tudor a luxury brand. Now, they released a Black Bay 58 in 18 karat solid gold, $32,000. Solid 18 karat gold, no gold capping or anything like that on some of their previous models. They're two tones. And it's a really nice watch. Obviously, probably I won't spend 32 grand on a gold Tudor. It would probably be on a Rolex. That's just my personal preference, though. But it has that same cost certified movement. You're getting all the great uh, in house work from Tudor. And yeah, I mean, I guess some people out there that are really Tudor fanatics, this might be good for them because there isn't a 58 in solid gold. And as you can see, uh, they do have all their 58 models still on their website, all pricing if you want to check that out after the video as well. And you can see even there on the rubber strap. Um, they also did release a new Black Bay 58 version. I'm sorry, they released a new Black Bay version of monochrome black and white though, which I think a lot of people are actually really going to be gravitated towards. I don't know why. But, you know, the old Tudor Submariners kind of had this, you know, orientation, and they kind of came back with it. It also has a T-fit clasp as well, just like the burgundy bezel one they released, uh, you know, a few months ago. And as you can see, it looks really nice with the black and white, I must say. I would definitely choose this one over the burgundy bezel. That's just me. Comes in that nice Jubilee bracelet with the T-fit clasp. You're getting that MT movement. You're getting a 41 millimeter case. Although the thickness is a bit thicker than a Black Bay 58, of course. Um, but if you have a bigger wrist, this one is definitely for you. Uh, they come with great in-house movements. They're Meta certified. And you're getting all that good waterproofness up to 300 meters. Um, you know, you're getting great loom, sapphire crystal, all that good stuff as well. I think it's a really compelling model. Uh, I like how it came out. It looks pretty clean. I like the black and white. I think that was definitely needed. And I was kind of hoping they would release something like that and they finally did uh, which is good to see now Tudor also did come out with a new ladies watch the Claire de Rose and this is obviously a model that was kind of brought back from the past rejuvenated uh, with all the updated movement and materials as you can see it's a smaller ladies watch um, obviously you know most of my viewers are probably men so it's probably not going to be for you but I think it's a decent looking watch if you're a lady uh, it's very dressy the bracelet actually looks pretty compelling with that nice clasp I like that the rose on the buckle. I think that's pretty cool. Um, small case, as you can see, they come in 34 millimeter at their largest. And they are using a different movement than the black bays, of course. Um, 100 meters water resistant, actually. So this thing can actually go swimming with you, which is pretty cool. Um, nice blue dial. Comes in like a whitish dial as well. And uh, yeah, overall, you know, not really for me, of course, but $2,700 for, you know, an entry-level luxury woman's watch, I don't think is, you know, that bad. And bringing back something from the past, people always enjoy that. So that pretty much sums it up for Tudor, guys, for this Watches and Wonders of 2024. I think they did a pretty good job. I think they did better than Rolex, in my honest opinion there. Um, Rolex, I'm not going to go over. I might make a quick video about Rolex, but I'm not really too intrigued by their new releases. Maybe the GMT. Uh, most of you guys have probably seen the Rolex content already. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. And definitely share the video with your friends. And I'll have some more updates coming real soon on the channel. I should see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Bye.